Greetings, my name is Tamla Farron and today we're going to do a little bit of a three card reading. Self-help and it's going to be with self-care cards. These are absolutely lovely and wonderful to use for self. First card that we're going to do is so simplistic. It is simply breathe. The calmer you are, the more time slows down. The easier it is to get everything done. Is that not completely simplistic? And yet so involving. You know, it doesn't take a lot. Sometimes the little things can just build and we have a breaking point. We all have a breaking point. And this can be the kids screaming, the animals going nuts, um, being afraid to go out, being afraid not to get to go out, um, stress, bills, work, school, everything and anything can cause us to just break for a little bit. And sometimes just being able to breathe, breathing in, one, two, three, breathing out, one, two, three. Simple as that, continue it until you start to feel the anxiety release, the stress release, the tears ending. It's all very powerful but we forget we're human and things can get to us as much as to anyone else and we need to settle down relax and once you start to feeling a little bit more relaxed you go and get yourself a cup of tea you go and get yourself some candles lit and some incense lit and some music playing and just relax, calm down. Allow yourself to feel the anxiety stripping from your body and you feel the peace coming within. Because each and every one of us forgets that we need that little bit of time, whether it's a couple times a day or it's a couple times a week. We all need to open up a little bit, let the stress go, and just relax. It's simple as that, like the card says, just breathe. Because nothing is going to get done if you're a mess. And we need to take care of ourselves, it's wonderful if you can go to somebody and sit down and talk with them. But it's ourselves that we need to heal. And each little bit that we can take a step forward and do is wonderful for us too, because that person may not be there for a couple days, or that person may be at work when you have this break and you need to relax. So if you chose card number one, it's because you need to take a break. You need to relax. You need to let things go. Don't keep allowing it to build up inside because all it's gonna do is hurt you and you don't need that right now. You need to move forward. You need to be able to just take baby steps forward and allow yourself to heal in the process. The second card is another, it's called body. Your body deserves your love. Your body doesn't matter what size you are, doesn't matter 
what health issues you have, what handicap or mental depression, anxiety. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you love yourself for who you are. You love what you are. And hey, I'm one. Trust me. I went from 347 pounds. I had surgery, bariatric, through and why. And almost six months later, I'm 110 pounds down. And I'm loving the energy. I am loving the ability that my pants will fall off my butt. And I am loving the ability to do things I haven't done in 20 years. I spent so many years being a mom of six that I forgot that I existed. When you're running after six kids, you forget who you are and what you're doing. And then you look in the mirror and you go, whoa, this isn't me. What happened? And I wanted to be here to see my grandkids grow up. But the only way I could do that was love myself enough to fix all of this with other issues, medical issues. Extreme exercise at the weight I was, was never gonna happen. Now I can exercise, I can go for walks, I can feel better about myself. And this is something that is extremely important day to day life. Spiritually, I've accepted myself for years. Physically, medically, I just pushed it aside. Now I'm learning to love myself again. And that's what you need to do. You need to look in the mirror and realize you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be fancy. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be anything but you. If you don't like what you are, do something to fix it. Make it better. Don't blame those around you. Don't make others feel like it's their fault. Just work on you. Do something for you. Learn to love you. And your body is a part of you. At least while you're in this life, it is a part of you. And it is extremely important to love who you are and what you are. And part of you is your body. Part of you is your spirituality. Part of you is your heart, how you feel, what you think, what you say, what you do. It's all connected. And if you allow calm and relaxation and peace and love to enter you're gonna see a whole different side. Let the hate, anger, stress, negativity go. And learn to love yourself for who you are. It's as simple as that. And it's important, it's an important step. Just as important as the first card was with breathing. This is important too. Self-love is truly a step in the right direction. 
because you can do so much more and love so much more if you love what you are and who you are. The next card, number three, is rituals. Steady yourself with simple rituals. Do the dishes, fold laundry, water the plants, make a cup of tea. Let wisdom sneak up on you. Wisdom. Do you get it? It means that as important as doing a ritual outside or going to work or having fun. The simple things about taking care of yourself and your space, the simple rituals are just as important as everything else. Taking a shower, brushing your teeth, folding your clothes, washing your clothes, gardening, every little thing that you do to improve yourself and your environment is extremely, extremely important. You may not think they're magical, but everything we do is magic. Energy is put into everything we do. It stems from everything being so connected. And you need to allow those simple rituals to continue. Don't put something off because it's too much for you and you don't want to be bothered and you just keep fluffing it off and shoving it off and going, I'll do it next week, next year, next whatever. No. Get off your butt and start doing things. That doesn't mean going out drinking. That means taking care of your home, your family, your friends, your life, and you. That means simple things, sweeping the floor, cleaning a room, doing the dishes, like I said, taking a nice long bath, cleaning up the yards. It doesn't take much. And it may not sound like much, but you get the feeling of a job well done. You get the feeling that you're moving forward, that you're actually helping and doing things. And this is what comes out of it, allowing yourself to do the simple things. If you've got things you want to make, things you want to create, stuff you want to read, books you, you've desired to read and learn from, if you want to do more readings for yourself or you want to start doing readings for others, if you want to learn a new path in magic, these are all things that are important. And it's up to you to take these beautiful life enduring experiences and work with them. As simple as sorting through stuff that you no longer know if you want, then gifting it away what you don't want or selling it, have a yard sale. If you need to get rid of clothes because like me, I'm losing weight. So here I've got some clothes that just won't fit me anymore. If I can't take it in, I might as well give it to somebody who can enjoy it or use it. All these little steps are important 
making a meal. I don't know if you're interested in canning, taking stuff from the garden, making your own pasta sauce and canning it. Um, it doesn't matter. Whatever you feel needs to be done. Basics. Start with basics. Work your way up through the chain, through the ladder, till you get to the point where it's just natural to do. And you enjoy it. And it can be, even be exercise, going for a walk every day, going out, doing stuff that you enjoy. Let's start with the basics. Self-help, self-clean. Make sure your home is a place of peace and harmony and a sanctuary for yourself. And that takes work. It doesn't matter how much you think you can do. Do a little bit more and enjoy yourself. I hope you enjoyed the reading today and trust me I loved having you here if you like this click like click subscribe and I appreciate each and every one of you for coming by thank you have a blessed blessed week and hopefully I will have a couple more videos up for you in the next two days. So enjoy and please come back and visit. Many blessings unto all.